Hi, Fabiola here. Um, I figured since my last video was like really bad lighting and I will be deleting it. It only got eight views, so it's okay. You won't see that. Um, I'm gonna be deleting it, but I just wanted to make a new video with better lighting and say that I'm gonna change the ch I'm gonna change the direction of my channel. Yeah, I'm gonna change the direction of my channel. I am just sort of focusing now on doing more natural hairstyles because I have, it's weird, like, no one, it was, I think it was my little sister mainly, but no one really came to me and said, you know, embrace who you are and all that. It just, like, it legit came out of the blue. Like, I just started wearing my hair out. I don't know, maybe it's Instagram. I'm not going to say it was all me. My sisters had a lot to do with it. I went natural, or they went natural, I wanted to be just like them, I went natural, so, well, return natural, sorry. Um, the last perm I had was sophomore year of high school, I'm now a freshman in college, and it didn't really damage my hair much, I got the perm, I straightened my hair for about six, seven months straight while having the perm, trying to keep it intact, and then I got weave in. I got weave in the following year, junior year, when school started, around then, so, and ugh, my hair has been through a lot, honestly, um, I got my first perm around fourth grade, so there wasn't no five-year-olds getting their fresh hair perm, no, it wasn't nothing like that, my mom actually had no problem doing right hair, trust me, <laughs> she had no problem leaving it in barrettes and rubber bands and whatnot, all that good stuff, but, um, I got my first perm, I think, around fourth grade. Fifth grade, my mom promised me that she would let me get that Fantasia cut. So, but I wanted to help the stylist out. So I was at home and I just took the scissor and literally just cut everything off my head. I had that Will Smith off of Fresh Pencil's Baylor hair cut. Like, I legit had a flat top from straight scissors, like, paper scissors. Like, <laughs> It was horrible, and I had to go to school the next day, and I never did get that Fantasia haircut. My older sister, Bianca, was able to somehow make, braid up some of my hair, so that was good. And then also in fifth grade, I suffered from a bald spot in the back of my head, like right here. It was just like, there was nothing there. It was just scalp. Like, it, I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it was a bacteria. I don't know what it was. I don't want to seem disgusting, but... It came out of nowhere, and I just had a serious bald spot. Like, I literally cried, but I didn't really know about hair back then, you know? So, sixth grade. Sixth grade was like the 70s for me. I legit just took a comb, no water, nothing. Just took a comb, scraped, like, my hair into a little puff, and then I put a shoelace around my edges, and I pushed it back, and I puffed it down. So, I looked like Florida. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's the name. Florida from Good Times. That's what I look like, just maybe four times bigger. I it was, it was disgusting. And I still kind of had the bald spot, but it grew out. I didn't do anything to it; just naturally grew out. Thank goodness. And um, that was sixth grade, middle school, seventh grade. It was just straight cornrows with weave, just straight protective styling. I didn't know what it was then. It was just get my hair done, do something to it. Help me, please. Like, like, so I got that done in seventh grade. That was eighth grade. I just wore, you know, that was the first time I got tracks, actually, and I straightened a part of my hair constantly because it was out. But I only kept it in my head for two weeks because having straight tracks with straight hair that's not permed is pretty difficult. So I just took that out. Um, ninth grade, high school was just. Wee wee weave, tenth grade, wee wee weave until I got that perm trying to impress this one guy and I got the perm. And it was crazy because my cousins were like they were already natural, my cousins, and they was like, Oh, let me twist your hair up, let me put this water in this oil and it was a little bottle but they're not really good at explaining anything. So when she came at me, I had my hair out, it was way longer than this. And she when she came at me like, Oh, let me spray this in your hair, let me twist it up, I was like, Get the hell away from me, you're not putting water in my hair, water's gonna mess up my hair. I've been told that, you know, of course like every little black girl. I was like, Get that water out of my hair, I have to blow dry it, and I'm not gonna do all that, blah blah blah. 
and she wasn't really good at explaining it, so she was just like, let me go, let me do this, let me do this, and I was like, get away from me, and I wouldn't let her do it, and I ended up perming my hair that night, and that was 10th grade, so pretty much I only had like two, three perms out of my whole life, I can't be exact though, but I know that was the last one I had, and I kind of regretted it, because I had to, I feel like my hair would be more, you know, bigger, bigger, longer, whatever, and, um, yeah, but she wasn't really good at explaining what natural was, like, what is going on, I didn't know, I didn't know about YouTube, I didn't know about this, I'm not really good at watching YouTube videos, honestly, so, yeah, I didn't let my cousin do that, so, officially, then junior year was the straight box braids that, like, I did over, like, nine times all junior year, <laughs> senior year, straight box braids, and then I had to take my hair out for prom, and I loved it, if you check out my Instagram, at they call me fab under they call me underscore fab, sorry. You'll see I have prom pictures and my sister did like a natural hairstyle. It's also the video's also on her page. Not of me not of her doing my hair, but the gist, like pretty much the same thing. And you know, I took my hair on because I, I didn't have any money because I was saving up for college. I couldn't buy any more weaves to get my hair done again. So I just honestly that's why I went natural. I was broke. I had no money for weave, right? So I went natural and then I actually got compliments. It was annoying because all my black friends just came up to me, started grabbing my hat. Oh my god, I love it. You know, no one talked ish. So I was happy about that. But at the same time, it was like, put your hands in my hair again and you will lose a finger. I'm just being honest. Like, so that was about it. And now I'm a freshman in college. I go to college in Jersey and there's a lot of natural females here. And that's actually a good thing. I have no problem with it. but that was pretty nice, I'm gonna say that, <laughs> but yeah, I, I like that there's a lot of naturals here, you know, they always ask me questions, and honestly, they're like, oh, what products work, what products do this, what products do that, I'm 4C, I have like three subscribers, I'm nowhere near, I don't have any money or anything like that, I gotta get a job, I'm a freshman in college, what do you expect, and they're all just like, oh, what products work, what products do this, what products do that, and at the end of the day, it's like, I use water and coconut oil, <laughs> and olive oil. All I use is oils and water. I don't use leave-in conditioner. I don't use gel. I don't use, you know, I don't do the lock method. I, don't, I just deep condition sometimes, and that's, I hardly count it, because I put water, and then I put conditioner, I put conditioner in my hair. I'm not sure what it is that, but I'll show it in the other video, and I put coconut oil, and then I put, like, a shop right bag on my head and I'll leave it tied up for like two hours. I'm pretty sure that's deep conditioning though. That's for me at least. Um I did a protein treatment. My little sister taught me with the eggs and the mayo and I did all that but I only did it like twice so far. Three times maximum. And yeah, I don't use products. I mean I have no problem getting products and I will be using products once I get more, you know, out there and whatnot, but I'm happy that they're asking me for advice because they feel like my fro looks nice so they think I know everything and I absolutely know nothing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being honest. I can't even get a Bantu, Bantu knot outright. Like, my friend did Bantu knots on my head. They were gorgeous. The Bantu knots were nice. I wore them for like a week and I took them out and it looked like I just took a shower. It was, it was crazy. Like, I don't know, I don't even know how to take down hair correctly like this. This is no product right here. There's nothing in my hair absolutely. It's just I went to yesterday I put sprayed water, twisted up. Two days ago I sprayed water, twisted up, and I wore it out. And then last night I just brushed it out with my denim brush that I bought about two years ago. I just brushed it out and twisted it back up and then this morning I took it out. There was no humidity, nothing, so nothing shrunk. It's just kind of stretched. I mean I guess it could be a little longer, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have that much length, honestly. But when I get that Natural Nisi, Courtney real hair status, Courtney natural hair. I'm forcey, so let's be realistic. I'm on that Courtney boat, maybe. I don't really have that much length to begin with, so yeah. Um, it was all about being healthy and whatnot. But honestly, one more thing, I have never trimmed my hair. I cut off the perm ends in June. Slash May when my little sister helped me condition for the first time, but I have never trimmed. I know I should trim. Guess my sister has some shears. She's cosmetologist, all that hair stylist, whatever. And I should maybe trim my hair, and I will eventually. But as of right now, it's 
moving, growing, so I don't feel the need to. Maybe I should. Did it? I, I will trim it eventually. I won't do it in a video because I don't know how to trim hair. So, wow, I should learn some stuff before I make a video, right? <laughs> no, but um, yeah, just like, subscribe, you know, comment, rate, all that good stuff, and hopefully my channel expands. I want to be like cheesy doo one day and have thousands of views and days. <laughs> Well, thank you. Name is Fabiola, and let me know what you want to see. This is my introduction to my natural hair journey. Just started about four months ago, technically. Well, sorry, about six months ago, five months. I can't count. Since June. <laughs> thank you. Bye.